What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking the Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 demo. Now this demo is running on Xbox Series X right now and it's also available on, on other platforms, meaning Xbox Series S and PlayStation 5. I would imagine on PC as well, although I'm not really sure about that. However, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't run on PC. Now, this is an interesting tech demo because it's one of those that actually you have control over it. I have control over it. As you can see, I'm walking uh, around like a big city, looks like New York or something like that. And um, yeah, I mean, the demo is very, very impressive because, yeah, look at the mm, level of details. And obviously so there's some compromises here and there for example like these you know crowd you know people uh on the streets don't really look that detailed and that kind of stuff they look uh, a bit generic if you know what i mean but this is just a tech demo and you know like if you look at the buildings and everything uh look at these buildings you can actually check what's inside because you've got this option where you can um, fly so you can use a drone and you can actually <laughs> fly to some of these um, offices and check what's inside right it's um, it's crazy the amount of details and everything and obviously you've, you've got the all these reflections and everything um, it's all reflected and yeah I know that like most of these offices look same-ish <laughs> yeah but listen you know that's still impressive anyway and you know you can fly around the city and look at the level of details you know the crowds and everything this game actually this tech demo looks most impressive from the distance uh, and i'll tell you uh, why in a moment because look at you know the geometry the level of details you know and the amount of stuff going on on the streets it's not cyberpunk 2077 that where there's nobody on the streets and like there's no pop in nothing like that so nanite and all these next gen technologies are being used over here and that shows uh, another comment i i want to make about the resolution you know the game is very sharp uh before the demo starts it says that it's using temporal super resolution so they are using some sort of uh, reconstruction technique but um, yeah the game looks very sharp however it's quite noticeably noticeable um, like there's you know quite a lot of artifacting and not necessarily over here when I'm like flying over the city but when you actually look at like small details and actually when i go back to uh you know to the streets uh there's quite a lot of artifacts artifacting on like on the cars some shadows are of a lower quality i'm not sure where, you know what is it um about that at some some cars look better than the others i guess obviously you can drive the car there is a little bit of artifacting around the actual main character as well especially on the hair and that kind of stuff but like you know this is like nitpicking right now right and um you know i'm just you know impressed with a scale the lighting reflections and everything it's it looks very realistic really um and obviously you can drive a car and so let's let's yeah let's grab some nice ride why not porsche i mean it looks like porsche um this is a tech demo so if you actually start driving the car it's like <laughs> the the driving model is not really that great it's like yeah weird but anyway oh shit um Another thing I wanted to mention is that this tech demo is running at 30 frames per second. Um, so it's, um, you know, I just wanted to mention that it's not 60. Will I make it? Yeah, the physics, as you can see, is not great either. But, um, you know, I just wanted to show you the scale of the game and the graphics and, you know, what's going to be a possible on a next gen in the next generation games you can you can't really 
run anyone over because you know this is matrix so they like change into these um, things you know uh, let me actually find a new car because I broke this one um, yeah so I'm, I'm very impressed with you know just share level of details you know and this is like an open world by the way you've got you've got full control over what's going on in this game if you press the menu button you've got this uh, kind of world setting so you can you can actually change the sun rotation um, so look the lighting is changing so you can you know it's it's all it's like real life it's not like baked in lighting it's uh, this next generation lighting system uh, you can you can get you can get rid of crowds you can actually make the world totally empty if you set everything to zero there we go there's nobody around now it's still it's still locked to 30 frames per second but it's actually cool that like I mean there is a little bit of popping but not much if you look at the traffic lights they like pop in out of the nowhere they appear out of nowhere but like considering the level of details over here it's it's like nothing it's barely noticeably noticeable to be honest with you yeah let's bring back all these settings um, also there's one more setting over here which I changed straight away because I didn't like it so there is this matrix filter so on by default uh, you will have that on and the game is just game is just greenish like it looks like this right so yeah it's it it has this it, it's has this matrix vibe obviously um, yeah but it just doesn't look that good right uh, because everything is green literally uh, so it's like a green filter so this is the first thing I kind of changed there we go there's a you know massive difference matrix filter matrix filter off so yeah I disabled it by the way you can actually uh, check how everything is rendered <laughs> primitive instances um, so you know there's quite a lot of settings and you can play a little bit um, there is a map over here as well <clears throat> so as you can see it's quite a big map um, so you can drive around you know unfortunately you can't really do any much in this game so it's not really a game you know you can't really do any missions there's no story it's just a tech demo uh, which is quite impressive and um, you know unreal I don't think unreal is even like officially out yet and still not fully optimized for the platforms it will probably take a year maybe to to optimize uh, better for these platforms um, so I'm I'm going to check this demo on PC as well just to you know just to find out if it if it looks any different and maybe they you know maybe they use some other technologies and that kind of stuff who knows but um, this demo is quite impressive you know reflections and everything it just everything looks so good you know the asset streaming and that kind of stuff like I said there's hardly any pop-in so I, like I said the only thing I noticed that pop that kind of pop in here and there was the traffic lights um, and that's pretty much it considering how many cars there is on the streets and the all the people walking um, on the pavements it's quite impressive and sure it, it's using the super resolution so it's not as sharp as the native and there's some artifacting as well because it's using temporal uh, super resolution I guess uh, but like guys you know I wish it was 60 frames per second as well but uh, generally speaking I'm really impressed um, so let's get out of the car yeah the reflections on the cars uh, look pretty nice as well 
obviously it's not like a full ray tracing but still um textures are very sharp um there's quite a lot of details yeah i mean th this demo looks very re realistic um Yeah, I can see uh, quite a lot of artifacting on like if you look at the shoulders of the character of the main character I'm actually controlling right now. There's a you know, quite a bit of artifacting and on the hair, so that's a bit annoying, but not a major issue. I mean, to be honest with you, if you look at anything that is moving, there is a little bit of a ghosting going on over here. So I'm not sure whether that's due to the the super resolution technique being used that's possible um, so w whatever is moving fast it it has this it it, it leaves this ghosting effect uh, even the cars so yeah but anyway guys like like i said very impressive demo um i know i can't wait to see like a proper next generation games and I'm sure you've not sure if you've seen but if you haven't check Hellblade 2 gameplay demo um, they shown uh, yesterday well actually still today uh, the gameplay from Hell he Hellblade 2 boy that game looks good I mean at the very beginning when I uh, saw that um, you know gameplay I was like no, that's not that's not game. That's that's movie. That's that's a you know actually a movie. That's that it didn't even look like a CGI. It looked like a movie. Um, so I was super impressed with it. And then Je Jeff Keighley, after the demo was shown, he said, "No, guys, hey, it's it was a gameplay. It's a proper gameplay." So guys, like I'm, I'm super hyped about next generation and what these next gen systems going to deliver, and um, obviously next gen uh, PC hardware as well, even to the, even to a better degree, to be honest with you, obviously, because consoles still do have quite a bit of uh, limitations. But um, guys, this like Unreal Engine, and it's actually interesting because that Hellblade 2 demo is running on unreal engine 5 as well so the, it's it's the same engine but you know uh, i must say kudos to this demo this is like a proper open world demo look at the amount of details and the traffic and you know a number of cars and everything um uh, while the hellblade 2 was really like a you know a small section of, on on some island so you know but like i said you know i'm not really taking anything away from this demo or hellblade 2 they were a bit different um i guess you know environments right but you know i think spider-man to this day had the crown when it comes to like um big city visualization um, and that was on last gen consoles not last gen uh, technology so this is what future looks like guys this is what future looks like all right guys so that's the demo i hope you enjoyed it you can actually download this demo uh, right now it's free to use um i uh, i think it's available only on xbox series s x and playstation 5 not sure about pc like i said you know i will have to check but uh, go check it out if you can if you've got any of these next gen systems if you don't have next gen systems just enjoy this video in 4k you know make sure you're watching 4k because then you will see much more details because like in 1080p especially on youtube that's not really you're not really getting a full scale if you know what i mean of the details and everything right so make sure you're watching 4k if you can so guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it make sure you check my other videos subscribe to the channel if you like content like this and i will see you all guys in the next one take care